if you die in that position. Yes. Yeah? But you see, the point is that Allah is addressing the mindset of the human being. If the mindset is not correct, yeah. then whatever you do, you'll be able to justify. Yeah? Right. So if I were to say to you, brother, I just used the example with that gentleman. I take a stone and I throw it at someone. And you say, ah, Shabir, what are you doing? Why you throw a stone? I say to you, nothing wrong. I find it all right. <laughs> you are going to say the guy is mad. Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. So Allah is... has a mental problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, when Allah is saying, Lakat kafar Allahina kalu inna Allah wal Masih wa Maria, disbelievers are there. You are entering into kafir if you are going to say that. Yeah. Wa kal al Masih. The Messiah himself said, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum. My Lord and your Lord. Now, it's clear, isn't it, to us, Alhamdulillah. But now, the mindset is being asked, do you believe a man is God? That's what they are saying. So now, wait a minute. So are you telling me he was like God in every respect? Uh, well, no, he was the flesh. So, so what else was there? It becomes very confusing. Now, then comes the Trinity. So what does Allah say again? In Surah 4, he tells you again. Then it's amazing, the ayah itself. Don't say three. In tahu, this is khair It's good for you. Why does he say it's good for me? Ask yourself a question. Allah is saying, don't say three. It's good for you. Why? Because this is only a think. Yeah, it's a thinking process. Me saying there are three gods in one is a thinking process. Allah is and telling they you. Can't think one, 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 when you see three fingers, yeah. oh, it's one only. It does, exactly. <laughs> but it is the thinking, isn't it? Allah is addressing the thinking. Yeah? Don't say three. Desist. Don't do it. Khair lakum. And then Allah finishes it off again. He said, no, the Creator is only one. So, we as Muslims, our job should be to be compassionate. Yeah? As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was. When people... You must be kind. You must be. Look, they don't... There are many people who don't understand, even amongst our own brothers and sisters. Yeah? Our job as the representatives of the Messenger of Allah and Allah is to explain in the best way and be extremely patient with people. Because they will come with all, you have to be, because they'll come out with all sorts of silly ideas. Yeah? I mean, look, we know that there are people who believe that there may be over 300 million gods. There are people who believe that. There's, there's no difference between believing in three gods and 300 million. It's still the thought process. So it is the thought process that Allah is telling us to address. One of Indian guys, I used to work with him. Yeah. He said to me, uh, we have a lot of God. I said, God himself making you easy. Only worship one. Why you are making <laughs> idolism between yeah. in, uh, your yeah. hand and going there, wasting your time? Hmm. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So as Muslims, our job is to talk to people about Islam, tell people what it actually says, yeah? yeah? And most importantly, be as kind and compassionate as we can with them. Because a lot of people misunderstand. A lot of people grow up because they've been told by the priests yeah, yeah. or anybody that this is what it is. And then you have to slowly start telling them. Look, Alhamdulillah, I tell you, brother, there's a gentleman about five years ago, he was a solid atheist. Yeah, solid. But he started watching the videos and his mind started changing to now where these are his, his own words. He's got about five or six questions which he wants clarification on. And when they are clarified, he says he wants to embrace Islam. Five years. There's another one, 12 years of conversation before finally they embraced Islam. So you need the patience, the perseverance, and what Allah has told us to do, 
the Muslim is known that the neighbor won't fear him because he's a Muslim. He will protect the neighbor if he needs to. If he finds out that the neighbor has got a, a problem, he will go and help. Yeah? That's the best way. The, it is. Your, your but unfortunately, the medias around the world are painting a very negative picture of Muslims. Yes. Yeah? That's true, yeah. To the All extent the time, that people are they, absolutely, media totally, absolutely it is totally unjust and unreasonable for what they are doing, but our job is to counter it. Yeah? And we can only do that by ourselves first learning what Islam says and then take well, it what I, what I don't believe is whatever they are doing, we can see it very bad way. Yeah. Yeah? Terrorists, killing people, yeah. all. If yes. you, you know, and the time goes, to, the heat comes to us. Yes. For no reason. Yeah. Look, Alhamdulillah, you know what it is? The battle yeah. is a greater one. The reward will be greater. Yeah. Our job is not to feel sad or weak. It is the time to let people know what the truth of Islam really is. How just, how compassionate, how merciful, how kind a Muslim ought to be and should be. These are the teachings that Islam has brought. Those are the teachings we want to impart to people. But like I said, first and foremost, inculcate them in ourselves That's right. before we take it forward. Before, yeah, before we take it yeah. forward. So, and I have seen a lot of, you know, those uh, media saying, talking about 9-11. Yes. I say, let me calculate 9-11, whoever did, yeah? yeah? You don't have proof. Whoever did, Whatever. How, many, yeah. how many people dead? Yeah. 3,000, 4,000, yeah. but that doesn't justify to whole country to destroy Afghanistan, the whole country. But here it is, brother. And making propaganda again. You got it in one. You see, the problem is this, brother. If I tell the community enough times about how evil X is, yes. sooner or later they'll start believing X is evil. They will build up a narrative and that narrative almost inevitably will lead to them attacking a country. And when yeah. that country is attacked, the innocent people die. And that's what happens. You see, there's a buildup of the marketing. They are creating yeah? havoc everywhere. Look, wallahi brother, I said, look, it is sad to see so many lives being lost. Mm. But that should give us a greater incentive to stand up as Muslims. Yes. Because Allah tells us very clearly, yeah. we must be just not even against ourselves. Mm. And in order to do that, we need to stand up, raise our voices, explain to people, look, this is not what Islam is, the way it is being portrayed. Just That's what we have to do. Important. Yeah. For Islam, Allah will ask you justice. Yeah. Even if your brother is wrong, you can't support him. Absolutely. Support but him. look, Sheikh, a person is telling you, go against your own brother. brother. But for what? To be just. To be just, yes. A teaching like that is incredible. But a lot of people don't even know about that. The only thing they know is silly things. Oh, Islam says this, Islam says that. And as soon as you sit down with them, calmly explain to them, oh, is that so? Yes, that is so. But it is our job. You are going to come across people who will give you a lot of nonsense, but you've just got to patiently bear it and carry on. That's our job, inshallah. We, we, we gonna try our best. Absolutely. Shukran. Zakhla <laughs>